Hi, it's Dr. Biology and this is GCSE Biology Hyatt here. My predictions for paper one and two for 2024. So your exams, paper one is on Friday the 10th of May in the morning and paper two is Friday the 7th of June in the afternoon. So you can see there's four weeks in between paper one and paper two. Paper one is, I think, probably one of your first GCSEs uh, of the year. So good luck with that. Um, but uh, yeah, they're each one hour, 45 minutes. Before I get started, I do want to tell you this is a prediction. I am not saying this is what will be in the exam. OK, there is no substitute for doing the following, which is revise everything. You can guess what's coming next. Revise everything and revise everything. However, there are other things you can do to help you. And I will go through um, the areas that I think may come up more often. So secondly uh, is past papers. Past papers are so important when you've done your revision. So either you can get exam questions on the topic or you can get the actual past papers and you can download those from doctorbiology.uk free of charge. And there's information there to help you. Thirdly, learn the keywords. Keywords are really important. So recall of your knowledge and recall of information. So uh, you could try the self-knowledge quizzes on drbiology.uk. Fourthly, know your command words. Things like describe, explain, suggest, calculate, show, evaluate even. Um, again, there are Dr. Biology videos on YouTube. And you can find all the playlists on my website. This one's really important. I do talk to my students about this, that you should never, ever give up. You should try and attempt all the questions. Even if you think you've got it completely wrong, still attempt it because you can pick up a mark here, a mark there, and your level or grade will go higher, which is fantastic. And that's what you want. So even calculations, I would suggest you have a go at the calculation because the examiner can give you credit, can give you a mark for uh, showing a certain stage in a calculation. So I'll make myself a bit smaller and get out of the way a bit. There you go. Right. I just need to explain to you. It goes by topic, content, spec number. So spec number is related to the AQA specification of the biology exam. So um, last year there was quite a bit on cells, but there was nothing on cell specialization and there was nothing on cell microscopy. So that would be a good opportunity to recap your calculations. You uh, remember the I am triangle, so you need to find image, actual magnification, um, knowing the differences between light and electron microscopes. Um, a popular one is stem cells. So looking at the ev evaluating the use of therapeutic stem cells, that would be a good thing to look at. Transporting cells. There was a bit of diffusion in paper one last year, but nothing on osmosis or active transport and, or gas exchange. So gas exchange, what makes a good uh, kind of good exchange surface and that's large surface area, thin membranes for a short diffusion pathway and maintaining a concentration gradient. So there's three things for you there. And then digestion and enzymes. There was a bit on the digestive system, but it was um, on, on enzymes, but they didn't mention the two required practicals. So those are food tests and pH and enzymes. Again, you can get those on uh, Dr. Biology. I go to the website, look at the playlist for required practicals. Second part, blood, nothing on blood at all. Um, Non-communicable diseases, nothing on cancer. So learn those keywords. What is a benign and a malignant tumour? Um, think of some risk factors for different examples of diseases. Next bit, this is an area where you can actually gain marks. Many students don't like questions on plants at all. They just just go to pieces. They're not interested. And they don't answer it. So make sure you learn about plant organs. So leaf structure and then xylem and phloem, and particularly transpiration streams, maybe you, the use of a potometer. So calculating um, the amount of transpiration occurring in a plant. Plant diseases, that's very biology related. So um, plant diseases related to ion deficiencies and other diseases. 
uh, and looking at plant defences as well from predators, for example. Respiration. Um, photosynthesis. There was a lot of photosynthesis last year, but very little on respiration. So aerobic, anaerobic, about exercise. So what happens during exercise, oxygen debts, that kind of thing, um, and metabolism. So that's paper one. Paper two. Um, paper two, there was quite a bit on the nervous system um insulin stuff like that but there was nothing on uh, the fundamentals of homeostasis so negative feedback loops for example nothing on the brain nothing on control of temperature um so those would be worth learning the body temperature one definitely that's one for a four five six marker possibly contraception so if you come across contraception usually they're going to give you lots and lots of data and information to analyze and compare and look at differences and similarities maybe do a bit of calculation then plant hormones uh, you could look at tropisms tropisms come up regularly but also the use of those plant hormones particularly auxins gibberellins and ethene ethene even then on the last section, DNA and the genome, always learn stuff about DNA, genes, chromosomes, the human genome. Um, there was quite a lot on inherited disorders last year, but not to say you don't need to know your Punnett squares, maybe look at some pedigree charts as well. Um, but sex determination, make sure you know XX, female, XY, male, um, and being able to do Punnett squares of those. Um, variation as well. There was nothing on variation, genetic, environmental or both. Genetic engineering. There's a big one. So GM crops, um, insulin, for example, uh, biotechnology, of production of insulin. And then genetics and evolution. There was quite a bit of genetics and evolution. There was a big six marker, but it's such a large uh, topic. I would learn it. OK, particularly natural selection theories of evolution bit classification there's nothing on classification that would be a good one to look at related to evolutionary trees and knowing about Car uh, Carl Linnaeus and Carl Voos and their um, ideas um, then on to ecology there was nothing on biotic factors the next few I think this is the big one here is about biodiversity maintaining it looking at pollution reducing global warming it's a it's a very on topic at the moment about reducing the effects of global warming um, and also food production as well so security farming methods sustainability those kinds of um, aspects so looking at pros and cons and then trophic levels there was no pyramids of biomass so maybe there's a time to draw a pyramid of biomass possibly or or look at a uh, energy efficiency across a food chain so uh, transfer of biomass that would definitely be percentage change between one trophic level to another quickly they can ask you some of paper one in paper two and some uh, something in paper two and paper one so um, I suggest you don't miss this uh, video please do check this out I'll put it down below I'll put the address down uh, in the comments based place so that's something to look out for and of course Dr. Biology, Dr. UK, Dot UK, I should say, Dr. Biology, Dot UK. There's loads of stuff there to help you with your revision. In fact, there's loads of stuff on the internet, as you've probably already realised. So, um, you know, I, I'm a great supporter of all the other biology teachers and biology specialists. So please use their 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 stuff if it's going to help you at the end of the day. Um, Please do get your friends to subscribe. Please do like this video. Um, I wish you the very best of luck. In fact, it's not going to be luck because you would have done the work and you're going to ace this exam. I know you are. Good luck, everybody. See you soon.